Hey, Shalom on my Kim. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Melstone for teaching truth of the world and well. And peace and invitation to all you all came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as to the believers, anyhow, by Shem Shai, the men as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is a brother Kahana Law from the GMS Hawaii. And I just wanted to do a you know a quick uh impromptu, you know, inspired by what you see here on the screen, which you know uh a lot of you brothers uh, may know who he is. You know, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the with the music this Jake has, you know, pushed out uh in the world, man. He was you know, Daddy Yankee being uh Probably one of the biggest, uh, if not the biggest, uh, reggaeton uh, influer, influencer uh, of of this era, you know. And uh, as you see in the title, it says Daddy Yankee says he's devoting himself to Christianity after retirement. Jesus lives in me, and, and I guess that's a quote, you know. And I actually uh, seen a. Uh, one of his last concerts, I believe, in Puerto Rico, where he was given the speech, you know, where um, he was pretty much going into how, you know, he got to fly around the world, do all these things, buy homes, buy cars, you know, pretty much do whatever he wanted, but that there was a, there was a, uh, always something missing, you know, the the I think he said the the missing piece. You know, and he went on into saying, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, uh, um, the missing piece was was the Lord, and how he's gonna focus now on spreading the gospel uh, towards uh, the world, man. You know, and if we read a little bit into it, let's read it as a matter of fact. It says, as Daddy Yankee takes a bow from the music scene, his singing. He's singing the praises of his higher power during his farewell concert Sunday at the Coliseo de Puerto Rico. The reggaeton icon revealed he plans on devoting himself on the on his Christian faith following his retirement from Latin genre. The show capped off Yankees touring career following his 2022 La Ultima Vuelta world tour which uh, that means the, the last lap it says a uh, quote from Yankee it says my people this day for me is the most important day of my life and I want to share it with you because living a life of success is not the same as living a life with purpose said Yankee in Spanish according to a clip of the concert shared on Instagram it says, despite the material wealth he accumulated with his success, the Puerto Rican rapper said his faith in Christ helped fill the emptiness that I felt for a long time. What good will it be for a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his own, his soul? The Yankee said, citing a Bible verse, which that's in the book of Mark, which we'll get it in a, in a few, Lord's willing. It says, that's why tonight I recognize and I am not ashamed to tell you the, to tell the whole world that Jesus lives in me and that I will live for him. You see? And then, you know, he goes on to saying a bunch of other stuff, but uh, pretty much... Uh, the, the main reason why um, What inspired this lesson was Because uh, you know my woman She saw the clip She was the one that actually showed me the clip Of uh, of this Jake You know and she was like Oh why is it that these That these guys Right before they retire Or when you know something happens in their life They turn to They turn to uh, uh, Christ To well, she knows about the truth, so why is it that they turn to Jesus, you know, and they want to 
you know, become Christians and whatever. So, the answer to that, you know, is because Jake ultimately uh, has a, a spiritual tie with the Haobah Shemel Washah. You know, although the two-thirds of our people are, you know, are living a, a life in sin and in wickedness, you know, something deep down in the spirit uh, tells them that there is a higher power. And when you've committed enough wickedness like these people have done, you know, they always try to seek the Lord, man. Because, you know, it, it comes to a point where, you know, they pretty much all say the same thing, that they can't live with themselves. That there's something there that makes them feel like they have no purpose, man. And someone outside of the truth may look at these guys and, and say, wait a minute, how, how do you not have a purpose? You you were like the biggest, you know, reggaeton artist. You, you were the, the one that pushed that whole genre out. People worship you. You have all sorts of money, fame, respect. How is it that you feel an empty space? What what else do you want to accomplish? He's financially free to an extent. So someone in the world would say, wait, how, how are you... How is it that you're feeling that way? That you don't feel like, like you have a purpose? You know, people look up to you. He probably has... You know, uh, foundations in his in his country to help people, and people look at him as a hero, man. You know, I know he helps you know uh, kids with that want to become artists and all that shit, baseball players in Puerto Rico. So, you know, he does a bunch of, of other things besides uh, you know singing and shit that people might look at in the world like, damn, like this guy's you know he's he's doing good for for not just for himself and his family, but for others. How is this guy feeling like he doesn't have a purpose, you know? When a lot of people, you know, give their, their enjoyment of their youth to him because of his music or whatever, you know? Because they they were helped by him in one of his organizations, whatever it may be. So they look at him like he has a purpose. But through the spirit, we know, you know, us brothers in the truth and sisters, we know... That these Jakes that sold out to Esau, man, had to do a, a bunch of wickedness, man, to get to that point, especially to get to that level of, of success, man. Daddy Yankee's like a fucking legend in in the in the genre of reggaeton. So to get that level of success, he he had to do a bunch of wickedness, man, and we know that through the spirit. And once you've done. That level of wickedness, man And you, you're kind of like Repentful of it You know, these jakes Try to seek uh, The Lord, man When they feel like Nothing fulfills them In their life that the, the, the riches The money The hoes The clothes Nothing Fulfills them Nothing makes them You know, truly have peace Within themselves They seek A higher power, man And truly they're seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh But through the spirit, these these men are not of of the elect. You know, they there might be some artists that, that might repent and you know come to the Lord, but it is highly improbable. Improbable, if I'm pronouncing that correct. Why? Because they already received their consolation prize, man. They sold out and received all the you know the the goodies. So rarely. You're going to see somebody like this uh, come back to Yahweh Hashem Shah. That's why the scriptures say, that's why the scriptures say um, that, uh, you know, it, it, is, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. And the reason why it says that is why, because, you know, a camel is a stubborn animal, man, and to get him through to a to a door it's it's hard to make him come down from that high horse he's at you know and since he's high, high up there he does he rather not go through it he's like nah i'm not gonna fucking bow down to to go underneath of this where, where am i gonna be taken i don't know that realm and christianity is a realm where jake is allowed to do what pretty much whatever the fuck they want and and 
as long as they go to church on Sunday and call upon sweet Jesus, man, they feel good. It's like a feel good thing to do, you know? And this is why these artists run to Christianity, man. Because they'll, they'll start saying, oh, yeah, I love God, Jesus, and so on and so forth. Yet, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't use the, the millions and millions of dollars that, that you produce by pushing out that wicked vibration upon our people to take down that music. To, to you know, to erase your, that, that past of, of filth that you put upon our people. You see? They don't use it to to truly help out the, the true men of the Lord. They just use it to say, oh, you know what? Now I'm a Christian. Now I could just pretty much do whatever I want. And now I feel good. You know, I feel good now because now I know that, you know, pretty much they're tricking themselves into believing that they're good in the eyes of the Most High, man. But they're wrong. This is uh, the book of Mark. Chapter 8 and Verse 36 It says For what shall it profit a man If he shall gain the whole world And lose his own soul And this is what A man like Daddy Yankee Like uh, you know You had a bunch in the northern kingdom Like Farruko And a bunch of other You know northern kingdom jakes That uh, you know So called gave up that, that, that life of Uh of wickedness to, to come to Christ But the, you already gained the whole world there ain't, ain't no, You're not going to humble down And come down off of that high horse To, to live a, a, a meek life In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and, 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 and be uh, persecuted and ridiculed After having so much fun Can you imagine a, a dude like fucking Daddy Yankee man That people worship People bow down to these fucking uh, Jakes man because they're the greatest He got bitches Endlessly Just waiting for this dude Men, you know uh, Idolizing him And in whose Head or, or, or Where does it even Make sense for them to To come down From the high horse And, and live a, a meek and lowly life in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, in, in no one's head, man. Why would you do that? Unless you knew the truth, unless you really, truly feared Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Nobody would ever do that. Here you go. This dude is pretty much a god in the in the realm of music, and and now he he's gonna you know turn all that stuff down. All the praises, all the honor, and all this shit to to worship the truth and sincerity. No, nah, man, they're doing it, you know, uh, half-ass. Because again, they they're seeking for for some uh, forgiveness for all the wicked shit that they've done. But truly, you know, whatever it is that they say they're doing for the Lord, man, they doing it for an idol. And it's not that that uh, um, that sacrifice. Is not being uh, accepted in the eyes of the Lord, man. It's, it's pretty much an abomination because you're doing according to to the gods of of the nations, to the idols that they've created for you. Which Jesus Christ is one of the biggest idols that you know Esau uh, fed unto our people, man. So you, hey, you already sold your soul. And again, there is... Yo, what the fuck, man? You fucking dumbass. Are you fucking kidding me? These fucking dumbass people, man. Salakia, this fucking dude just cut me off and then went back into the other lane. Unbelievable, these dumbass people, man. Salakia, I can't, but damn... Um, let's read that again Mark 8 and verse uh, 36 For what shall a man uh, Profit So like a, what, sh what shall it profit a man If he shall gain The whole world 
and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange uh, for his soul? And you already sold your soul. You jigs that sold out, you already sold out. And you're not, there's nothing you could give the Lord, you know, to, to, to save yourself. The only thing you can do is truly repent. But we know you ain't about to do that. For reasons, you know, mentioned before. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. That's right. And if you take a look, I believe the clip is here. Yeah, right here. I don't know if, you know, some of you brothers may or may not understand Spanish, but he's given that little speech that, you know, uh, I gave myself to Christ. And then the whole damn concert is cheering for him, man. The scriptures say, woe, woe when all men speak uh, uh, well of you, roughly paraphrasing. You know, the scriptures say that, you know, that very few of us were going to come into this truth. So if, if he was truly... Uh, Speaking in behalf of, of, of the true power Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, he, he would have been booed off the stage right away, man. Because Jake ain't trying to hear none of that shit in, in, their, in their eyes, in their ears. Now, it's not saying that the gospel is shit, but to them, that's what it is. That's why you see, you know, Jake in the comment boards. You, nah, I don't want to hear. I ain't no fucking Israelite. Don't talk to me about that Bible of yours. That's Jake's mentality, man, when you come to them with the truth. So if he truly was preaching the true power, the true uh, savior, Yahweh, he would have been booed at the stage, man, right away. Jake is going to, you know, sit there and, and have this uh, entertainer tell him they're going off and that the Lord's going to come judgment, judge them for their wickedness. Hell no, man! Not, especially not when they paid money for it to go watch a, a, a you know, a, an entertainer. But check this out. Se los quiero compartir porque no es lo mismo vivir una vida de éxito que una vida con propósito. Por mucho tiempo yo intenté llenar un vacío en mi vida que nadie pudo llenar. So he's like saying what we just read, like, oh, for uh, there's there's a, uh, it's not the same living a life with success than a life with 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 purpose. And for a long time I've been trying to fill this void that's in my in my heart. Trataba de rellenar y buscar un sentido a mi vida. En ocasiones aparentaba estar bien feliz, pero faltaba algo para hacerme completo. Y les tengo que confesar que ya esos días terminaron. Alguien puede llenar ese vacío que sentía por mucho tiempo. So he's like, oh, finally I found uh, the, the one that... that filled that void in my heart. Me pude dar cuenta que para todos era alguien, pero yo no era nada sin él. Pude recorrer el mundo durante años, ganar muchos premios, aplausos y elogios, pero me di cuenta de algo que dice la Biblia. ¿De qué le vale al hombre ganar el mundo entero si pierde su alma? Just quoted, you know, uh, the scripture we just read in Mark 8. You know, and he's pretty much going like, look, I did all these things, but there was always that void. And I remember something in the scripture that said, you know, what what shall a man gain if he loses his soul? See, right there, he's like, oh, oh, I, I, I recognize and declare that 
And I'm not ashamed of saying that what? That Jesus lives in me. And you see how everybody claps, man. The scriptures say that what? That, that the world hated the light, man. Because of their wicked deeds. And Puerto Rico is filled with idolaters, man. That claim to, to, to follow after Jesus, man. And all they do is a bunch of santeria, a bunch of witchcraft, man. So you see? <laughs> if it, again, if he would have spoke the truth, man, they would have hated him. They would have booed him off just like they did Yahushai when he came to, to, to preach salvation unto them, man. You're gonna come and tell me that this fucking wicked individual uh, just out of nowhere is gonna turn truly turn to the Messiah. Nah, man. They did it to Yahweh Shai, man. Jake was being preached salvation from the Son of the Most High, and they rejected him. And by the prophets, by the apostles, and they rejected them, man. That's the re that that's the, the the reaction that you should, you know, uh, be seeking for in order for you to know you're following the the right path, man. Because if everybody's loving you, everybody, you know, agrees with you and cheers you on because you following this God, you best believe that you're not doing the right thing, man. You're not following after the, the true power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushan. Because majority of the world is anti-Hamashiach, man. This world hates the Most High. They hate righteousness, man. And this is why the Lord's gonna bring such a, a, a heavy judgment upon this place. <laughs> and this is why we we say, you know, well now we say, but the scriptures say what? To store your treasures in heaven, man. Where moth and rust is not corrupt. This dude is trying to live, you know, after he, he done influenced a whole damn generation to be a bunch of drug dealers, fucking hoes, fucking, uh, you know, uh, degenerate motherfuckers. Uh, now he thinks he's just going to walk into the sunset and, and praise Jesus Christ without having to do, you know, any repentance. Just, oh, I'm going to just be... You know, I'm going to just say I love Jesus Christ and, you know, I'm going to live in him and he's going to live in, in me. Well, we'll see. We'll see what works uh, are going to come from this man that so-called lives in Christ now. But we can almost guarantee you 144% that this man ain't going to do nothing for you. How was shot? Real quick, in the book of St. Matthew uh, uh, 7 and verse 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. That's right. And again, we're going to see if this guy, just like all these other celebrities and rappers and you know uh, entertainers have said that they've turned to Christ, where are their works? Nowhere to be found. And if they do any works, it's not in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And those of you that, that believe that because you're calling on Jesus Christ and going to a church and dressing up on Sundays and just act being a damn hypocrite, acting like you are a righteous individual, if you think that you're going to be delivered and entered into the kingdom, man, you completely wrong, man. And it goes both for those that, that know you Israelites first and those 
of you that that you know go into into these religions like Christianity and Catholicism. The Lord is coming soon, man. And it, hey, playtime is over. It's been over. You are there on on, on Yahweh Shimei Awashai's side, or you're not, man. There's no gray areas. And if you calling on Jesus Christ, man, you we guarantee you that you are not following after the Lord. <laughs>